Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I'm going to talk about uh, some of the myths that people have about Wi-Fi and how to get the best performance out of your Wi-Fi router. Uh, before that I want to thank all of you. Uh, the amount of feedback that I have got from my last video that was uh, my first year on YouTube, it has been just awesome. The amount of comments that I've got, I'll make a separate video regarding that. Uh, but now let's look at uh, how to get the best performance out of your Wi-Fi network. First, I want to just uh, clarify some of the myths uh, that the people have about Wi-Fi networks. The first thing is, let's say that you have this N-based router that's marketed as N150 megabits per second. Don't get really happy that you'll be getting about 150 megabits per second because ideally uh, with every Wi-Fi router, the throughput is actually about 50 to say 60 percent less than the advertised rate. Don't get alarmed because of this because that's the reality. And this applies even to the N300 based routers. Generally, the maximum throughput that I have uh, seen on an N300 router is about 140 megabits per second. Again, a lot of people confuse the figures. It's generally, if you note, it's megabits per second and not megabytes. And to convert from a megabit to megabyte, you need to divide it by eight. I test a lot of Wi-Fi equipment and from my testing during all these years, I've noticed the best results that you can get for an N130 or an N150 router is about 50 55 megabits per second that is about 6 MB per second again this is the best case scenario results in real world I've seen the results to vary around 2 or 3 MB per second if you get that it's really good if you have a dual band uh, router and it's on 5 gigahertz uh, with a N300 router that works on the 5 gigahertz band you can technically get about 140 megabits per second and this is about uh, 16 MB per second uh, this is again the best case scenarios uh, that I'm talking about but in general world I've seen the rates to dip around you can get about 10 to 12 MB per second with the 5 gigahertz band now let me give you some tips and tricks how to boost up your performance of your Wi-Fi network you might be having the best router in the world but if it is not optimized you will get really pathetic results and sadly i get a lot of questions from you guys uh, where your wi-fi network is performing uh, really bad and it's due to the fact that it's not optimized the first thing that you need to keep into mind is that the these n-based routers actually perform best only when uh, you connect it to an n-based device let's say you have some old console like a ps3 or a v that uh, uses the old protocol that is uh, b or g the overall throughput of your entire network will go down if even one Wi-Fi device uses the old band like a G or a B. So I would say that if you want the best performance, uh, just keep your router on the N frequency and you can use your old router that you might have for your old devices. That way uh, your network will be optimized to get the best performance. Also, I've noticed that a lot of people use uh, the encryption that is set on your Wi-Fi router makes a lot of difference. For the best performance, I suggest that you go with the WPA2 plus AES. If you use any other protocol, again, the throughput of your entire Wi-Fi network will go down like crazy. So if you're using the old encryption types like the TKPI or the WEP, then I advise that you move to the WPA2 plus AES. That will uh, significantly boost the throughput of your Wi-Fi network. Also, some of the routers allow you to change the antenna that is available. Generally, the old routers had the removal antenna option. And I've noticed that with budget routers, the antenna that is provided is generally of 2 dBi or 3 dBi. So if your router does support uh, the removable antennas, you can buy a higher gain antenna like a 5 dB or a 7 dB. That will significantly give you a lot more uh, Wi-Fi range. So these are some of the tips that you can use to optimize your Wi-Fi network. I hope you found this video helpful. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.